Uh, well, you now know the equation. That puts further out their game in hand. So it's, it's eight points to make up for a great game. So do you still believe you can do that? Yeah, I uh, still so feel we, uh, we can and we'll have to keep believing we can until obviously until it's uh, proven we can't. So yeah, we just got to keep going and uh, try and bounce back from a, a disappointing day on Saturday. Why do you have that belief? Because you haven't had the top spot yet this season. Why do you think you can still get there? Um, well, you've got to believe, you've got to, you've got to keep going, uh, you know, we've got a, a great squad, um, so yeah, you know, there's no reason why we can't keep believing, so yeah, we've just got to keep going. Psychology, I guess, plays a lot, of, it plays a lot in the this stage of the season, so, so what is it that you guys have got, because to a certain extent you have been here, haven't you, this time of the season? Yeah, obviously, uh, you know, we went through it last season, um, you know, coming close to it, so yeah, to use that experience from last year uh, to try and get over, uh, over the finish line. And another home game this week, over a month since yeah. you, you, you last played at home, and I'm sure you'll know more than most of the amount of miles you've done on, on the old coach. But is it nice to be back at Printed Park? Yeah, it's going to be nice. Obviously, like you said, it's been, uh, been about four weeks, and um, yeah, it's been a long time, so we're looking forward to uh, getting back out in Printed Print Park and uh, hopefully getting the three points. The form of Printed Park has been pretty remarkable as well over the last uh, six months. What do you put that down to? Uh, well, I'm not sure. Uh, obviously, being at home is uh, obviously an advantage, and you've got the, you know the fans on top of it, so uh, we make a great atmosphere. So you know that's probably one of the reasons. Uh, but yeah, um, we just need to put in a good performance tomorrow and uh, get three. Obviously, the last home game I think was Macclesfield. So has it been nice though to have a, a little bit of a break since that one, uh, given how heartbreaking it was? Uh, no, I'd rather get back straight, straight back out there, uh, try and put things right. Uh, but unfortunately, we've had a, you know, game called off due to the weather. So uh, yeah, like I said before, we're really looking forward to the game uh, Saturday. Yeah, the manager said he, I mean, he, he used the words "root and branch" sort of review this week. Like, how useful has that been? Yeah, it's been good. We've been working hard. Uh, you know, going over a few clips and everything, um, put the work in on the training ground. Um, so yeah, um, hopefully that will uh, come out on top on uh, Saturday. And it, I guess it shouldn't make much difference, but the fact it's on television to a player, it, does that mean much more to you? Does that, does that go through your mind at all? <laughs> no, not really. No, well, it's not for me, it's for, my, for others. Um, no, it's just a normal game. Um, you just got to do your job. And, you know, try not to mess up because it is on team. You're not on player cameras. No, uh, <laughs> no there's, um, we've always got the cameras on us, you know, through uh, Vern, he does all the clips, so, you know, we're pretty much used to that, so, um, yeah, it's just a, just a normal game, uh, but a big one. The goal scoring at home has been particularly impressive uh, this season, and you've got plenty yourself, uh, of course, Cup and Norse. Um, how important has it been getting the first game, the, the goal <coughs> because the teams seem to come in to defend them on the day. When you get a first goal, they can't do that. Yeah, I think it's crucial. Um, I th well, probably the stats. If we get uh, one at home, we go. We usually go on to score a couple more. So uh, yeah, it's always tough when teams come come to the ground because you know, like you said, it comes. Uh, they come defensively, uh, compact, and uh, you know, it's hard for us to break down. But um, yeah, if we get that, you know, first goal, you know, we usually you know go on really confident and try and uh, score a few. And that could be crucial given how tight it is at the top of the table if it does come down to goal difference. Yeah, uh, it could be, uh, well, you say an extra point, isn't it? Goal difference. So, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's big. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it won't come down to goal difference. <laughs> just just points for us. Um, but yeah, you know, we need to score as many as we can. Um, but the main thing is the three points. I believe you've been with you in sort of goal scoring, sort of performances this season, nine already, looking to, to build on that from the last eight games? Yeah, try and, uh, try and get double figures, um, obviously I think the first part of the season, you know, I think I didn't score in a, quite a long time, but uh, I was creating creating chances and you know getting some as well, so it was just down to me putting them away, so hopefully I can uh, grab a few more until the season. And Cook and Norwood have kind of been stealing the goal scoring headlines of, of late. How important is it that the, the rest of the team can also chip in with, with their yeah, fair share? Yeah, massive, um, you know, set pieces, big, you know, for the centre backs and the midfielders to try and get on get on the score sheet. Um, but as, as long as then one of them two are scoring, you know, we'll be all right.